Hey guys, James here today and welcome to a tutorial on how to install mods in The Sims 4. Today we're going to be looking at the door lock mod specifically as this covers both types of modding in The Sims 4. It covers custom content modding and it covers script modding. So I thought this would be a good one to start with. Also, it's a very popular mod that some people seem to have problems with. So if you want to download this, the link is in the description. You can follow that and you can follow along with me here. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you have to have an account on this website website. Just sign up. It's a free website. 100% uh, trusted. I've been, on, uh, I've been on this website for about 10 years. My account has existed for. It's all good. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, I think that you just need a, an account is all. So anyways, here's the door lock mod. In case you don't know what it is, basically it allows you to lock your doors kind of like in The Sims 3 or I believe The Sims 2 you could do it as well. Uh, so you're going to lock out visitors, lock out childs, lock out female, male, that kind of stuff. Uh, lock gates. You can even lock an archway. I didn't even know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Um, so this is what the mod is uh, doing. When you want to download it, well, when you're ready to download it, click on your little files tab here and you want to download the latest version, whatever the version may be. If it's V4, download that, whatever the latest one is really. You can check the date over here as well. It shows you when it came out, but we're going to download version three today. We're going to click on that. Once it's downloaded, browse to your downloads folder. I've already got my downloads folder open here and you'll find that you have a zip file. Uh, so you just want to go ahead and extract that. Extract it however you normally would. I'm going to extract here. And you'll find that we have three files that came out from inside of it. So these are the files that came with the download. We have an installation instructions file, which you can choose to follow if you want, or you can just watch this video. Uh, we have a package file and we have a script zip file. Do not unzip this file. There is no need to do so. Leave it as it is. Uh, so the package file, that is uh, the custom content part of the mod. So that actually deals with all the menus. And when you click in game, that will come up with a menu. So I've seen a lot of people saying, I've got the door locking mod, but it doesn't work. The menu shows up, but the lock doesn't work. It's because the menus are dealt with in this mod or this part of the mod and the functionality of what the menus control is dealt with in this part. So you need to have both parts working for the mod to work. But having said that, let's go ahead and copy these two files, the package and the zip. Uh, we're going to copy those. So you can either uh, press control C or right click and copy. Then we're going to browse to documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then the mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, which you probably should anyways, but if you don't just create it, it's called mods with a capital M. Uh, just create the folder, jump into it. And then you just want to right click and paste. Uh, and if you, if you're replacing them, just click yes. Now we have the mods in the folder. That's all you got to do in windows. Now you can boot up the Sims 4 and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so once you've loaded it into this main menu of The Sims 4, you want to jump up to your options menu and then just click on your game options and then go to the other menu. So this is where you can view the custom content you currently have installed. And what should show up is MTS Scumbumbo Door Locks V3 or V4 or whatever version you happen to be using. Uh, that should show up no matter what under custom content. If that doesn't show up under custom content at all, it means you've either put it in the wrong folder or your mods folder isn't set up correctly. Now, don't be worried if your script mods, uh, if it doesn't show up down here underneath script mods, you may not have script mods enabled yet. If nothing shows up underneath script mods, uh, just click it, click on the check. And then you want to make sure that this little toggle button here is actually checked because this enables that type of mod. And those type of mods can be a little bit, you know, a little bit wonky. They can cause some issues with your game. As it, as it warns you, it says, use it your own risk. You need to restart the game for this to work. Uh, but make sure that's checked. Uh, so whichever mod you're using, if it happens to be a script mod, just read the comments on the download page. If people say it's good, if they're thanking them, if no one's reporting an issue, then you're generally good to go. Uh, and specifically the door lock mod, I know for a fact is a fantastically well, uh, well done mod. I've had no issues with it whatsoever, no game issues. So you're good to go on that one. You have my word, the door lock mod will not ruin your game. You're good there. But just be wary in future of selecting other script mods. If you're downloading other stuff, just be wary. Make sure to read the comments, read the reviews of it, and you should be good to go. But make sure... Uh, your script mods check mark is enabled. Mine already were. So as you can see, it appears down there and you've just installed your first mod. You've done it. You've installed your first mod. So you can go ahead and load up a save game. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's load up. Uh, basically, I've turned in my Luna. I've turned my Luna save game into a mod test. So once you load up your game, uh, presuming that you've installed the mod correctly, as we just did then, 
and you've also got script mods enabled, you will have the menu of the door locking mod show up when you click on any door or any gate uh, and you can lock it. Uh, uh, this isn't this isn't specifically a tutorial for door locking, so I'm not going to show you how to use that mod, but I'll just show you that it works and uh, that you've done the right thing. So there you go. That's how you mod. Because I a few people just haven't really gotten into it yet. If you don't really, if you haven't done any modding before, it, it can be a little bit daunting. But it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward to get set up. So as you can see here, here's your door locking. You can lock for your Sims, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's all good to go. But there you go. That's how you would install mods for The Sims 4. That's modding 101. Well, not modding 101. Installing modding. Installing mods 101, I guess it probably makes more sense. For The Sims 4. I hope this was helpful to some of you. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.